So I'm here with uh, Pat McCarthy from Telcordia. And uh, Pat, tell us a little bit about Telcordia, uh, your relevance to this market here at Mobile World Congress. Well, Telcordia is a leading global provider of software and communication services to the mobile, cable, fixed and IP industry. We're a provider of highly scalable software solutions and helping customers to really differentiate their solutions to their end users around the world. And uh, I think most people would uh, probably know Telcordia's background and, and history. Um, is it uh, a struggle to remain uh, relevant as the industry changes? Uh, how can you help customers uh, do that? Well, there's really two big problems in the world at the moment. There's really there's the growth in the emerging markets of highly scalable solutions to, to help capture the next billion subscribers that are coming on the market. And then the challenge for the rest of the world is how are they going to get revenue from the customers they've already captured? Telcordia really is helping service providers answer both of those problems with the ability to differentiate, to monetize, and manage those services. Uh, so, so how do operators at the moment, uh, say we're in the mature world, uh, how do they go from the services delivery uh, portfolios that they've, that they've had into something that enables them to have all these new services that they have to get into the market and keep control of their costs? Well, at Telcordia, we believe one of the challenges that the mature service providers have is they can just go with the internet model, which is they can be a flat data company and really not have any real connection with the customers where all the value add has been done by third-party internet service providers. And clearly, that's going to be part of the answer. But we think there's a really major opportunity for service providers to get connected to the customers with an interactive services. You know, if you look yourself, how many times have you actually gone onto your mobile provider to access that for services and purchase content or use it to personalize the way your mobile phone works today. We believe that the important thing for service providers is really to build this interactive customer experience and to help them to do that, they need to have a real-time service delivery architecture. Stuff that we're delivering today in India, which is really helping them to deliver their revenues, we believe can help achieve the same success in the mature markets today. So uh, what, are the, what are the products on the platforms that, that, that Telcordia has that can help operators do that? Well, the key one that really is uh, exciting the market at the moment is our real-time uh, charging solution. We're delivering this to service providers in India and Brazil and service providers in, in the mature markets, North America and Europe. And they're using that to help them scale to tens of millions of end users where they can really help differentiate and grow their services. Some of our customers are growing at double the the capacity of their competitors with uh, basically more innovative offers, uh, better time to market, and the ability to charge for any type of service that they need to come up with from their marketing department. So I think at this show there's obviously a lot of chat around the economic situation currently, um, how operators are going to deal with that. Um, but do you think there are still opportunities, or uh, where are the opportunities for operators to, still to make money in this environment? Yeah, service providers are looking for solutions to help them compete. They really want to have a partner that has a vision to help them support taking more market share. And our vision around interactive services, around helping service providers to monetize, to differentiate their solution, really is what service providers are coming to Telcordia to hear more about. They want to know, what can you do to help me monetize these services? Can you not just do charging for traditional services, but also support the new business models, support mobile marketing, support advertising? support the real interactive personalized experience that end users are looking for today so that when you go back home and you want to use your phone more innovatively you can go and actually tune the way the phone works for you. The one of the challenges the mobile industry is facing today is the mobile phone service is pretty much the same all over the world. There really isn't a lot of innovation in the way phones can be used. There's new devices coming out, there's new content being available, but really what they're not doing is helping service providers to personalize the service. And to do that, we've got to put you in control, we've got to make it easy for you to personalize your service, and doing that, you're going to stay with your service provider for longer, you're going to use more services, and we think that's the basis for growing a value-added services business today. Now, I think there's a lot of uh, software vendors out there probably saying something similar, so it might be interesting if you can show us exactly how you do that uh, and make that real rather than just make it something we, we talk about at trade shows. So I think we're going to have a demo. Yes, indeed. We can show you a demo of the way you can personalize your service and the way we can help service providers to actually charge and do innovative charging as regards supporting the new services that they want to offer. We're doing this today for, you know, we've got new customer wins happening as we speak in India, for example, as service providers look to move from legacy prepaid architectures onto new real-time charging solutions to support their business.
Excellent. Uh, let's go to the demo. So the demo we're going to show you today is really a demo of how a person who's living in Nice, a uh, parent who's going to be able to control the service for their family, but also you can imagine leveraging the service for your own use so that you can actually have a more personalized interactive service. Uh, the demo covers being able to control the spending limits and set up spending limits for the service so you can control how much uh, you can spend on movies, ringtones, music and uh, SMSs. Then we can also control and have uh, preferences for what number of screening you can have. You know, if you have a child and they've been bullied by uh, another individual in the school, you can actually control so that no, that child can never be uh, SMS or called again by that individual. So they actually have full control of how the service can work. And you can also add in, for example, uh, the ability for that child to always be able to call a particular number, like my own phone or uh, the, anybody else in the family as you go forward. This is really important because when you go to the next element, which is the calendar, you can set up s preferences for how you can control the services. So for example, you know, schools are very concerned about using phones in school, so you could actually deny and prevent the use of the phone during school hours. And also, it's no harm to have some control over the phone during the evenings. Um, so now we've personalized an ability to uh, prevent the use of the phone during school hours, but at all times, uh, the family members will be able to call because we've set that in the number screening. And then other things that are really important, we've talked about personalization. Well, if you can make it easy for the customer to put in their date of birth and to encourage them to do that, we're doing that in this one by allowing a promotion to be given to the customer if they enter their date of birth and they can get special offers on their birthday um, as part of the whole service offer. This gives a benefit for the end user, but also gives a benefit to the marketing department of the service provider because they'll be able to use this information to help with targeting the service and developing other services into that segment. And then finally, uh, we've talked about value-added services. If a customer is actually personalizing their service and going onto their phone or TV, going onto the broadband, then that you have a huge opportunity to actually promote and sell value-added services. In this quick demo that we're going to show you, we're showing you how Telcordia is helping to deliver content services that are going to be actually ad-sponsored. And in this case, the, we've set up the preferences to say, I'm all, I like ad-sponsoring. Ad and by downloading it, uh, they will actually get a, an ad played that's personalized to the services that they're interested in. And, and then later on, then they'll actually receive the content. So in this example, you're going to see that the, the ad that's going to be played is going to be for uh, uh, drinks, soft drink service that's going to be available in a special uh, retail store in Nice. And this is going to be charged to the actual uh, small store that's in Nice. Uh, it's going to be able to subsidize the actual content that's going to be given to the uh, individual and it's going to be able to count and merchandise so that you actually have all this marketing information available for your marketing department so you can understand what services are being used, what demographic is uh, downloading what content and that will help you to actually understand how to actually grow and develop your value added services business. So in summary, uh, what you're seeing here is really a very simple easy to use service that end users will be attracted to that will encourage them to personalize their service. What Telcordia is learning from working with service providers is that end users that do this tend to double their lifetime value. They actually stay with the service provider for twice as long because they have a, a personalized sticky service. F with the service provider, with this simple, easy to use service, 